Hi, it's uh, Andrew Batner from Altitude Advisory here. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I thought uh, what I would do uh, to help business owners out is uh, record a, a, quick, a quick video um, on effective uh, negotiation uh, techniques. Uh, in the current business environment, uh, many business owners are, are finding themselves having to negotiate uh, deals with uh, suppliers uh, in respect of extending payment terms, negotiating with employees regarding work hours, negotiating with landlords regarding rent reductions, speaking to their, their banks uh, regarding um, additional funding facilities, um, negotiating deals with, with customers um, to, to make sure business keeps turning over. There's, there's negotiations happening everywhere and, and what I've seen is that many business owners um, uh, don't necessarily have a lot of practice or experience in these areas. Um, and as a result, I, I thought I would record a quick video um, sharing um, some of my experiences and, and I call them, uh, techniques or, or tips that I've got um, in, in respect of an effective negotiation. So um, I've just penned uh, a quick PowerPoint, which I'll share with you guys. So, um, Start, starting off, um, there, there's 12, 12 tips that I'd like to share with you. So the, the first tip is about being prepared. Um, before you go into any negotiation, uh, it's really important that you uh, understand your position, understand your financial circumstances, uh, understand where you can uh, move uh, up or, or down uh, in, in terms of any um, scenario. Um, but also it's important to understand uh, who or as much as you can about the other person that you're negotiating with. Um, the more preparation that you can do um, means that you'll have a, a better chance of having an effective, um, effective conversation with somebody and, and getting a better outcome. The second tip um, is about your attitude. Um, attitude in negotiations is everything. Um, if you approach uh, a negotiation with a win-win mentality, as opposed to a win-at-all-cost mentality, you're, you have a much better chance of achieving a, a, a positive outcome um, than the other way around. Um, if you go in with a, a win-lose mentality where you win and, and the other party loses and, and you've got a, a sort of win-at-all-cost scenario, the, the chances are you come out with a lose-lose a situation where you, know, you, you don't get anywhere near the desired outcome uh, that you went into the negotiation uh, seeking to achieve. Um, with that, it, it's really important that when, when you are negotiating, be prepared to compromise. Um, you, you might have to give up a bit to, to get a whole lot. Uh, the third tip um, is around listening um, and effective listening. Uh, it is really important that you take the time uh, to listen to what the, the other party has to say, understand their, um, their point of view, understand their situations, clearly listen um, to, to what's happening on uh, what, what's happening and, and, um, and the, the content of, uh, of what they're delivering to you. With, with effective listening, um, you, you then uh, can, can clearly establish um, where the other party sits and you're in a much better position to negotiate an outcome closer to what you're, uh, what you're looking, looking to achieve. The, the fourth thing uh, is regarding authority levels. Um, and in, in respect of this, what I mean is that the, it's important that the other party in the negotiation has the right level of authority to make a decision regarding the, the points that, that you're discussing. Um, if they don't have the right authority level, then you know, I can simply say that you're, you're wasting your time because they, they can't make a decision. And it's important that you have that then have the discussion with somebody who can make a decision in respect of the issue that, that you're seeking to resolve. The fifth point, um, uh, fifth tip, um, is if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Now, that seems quite obvious, um, but the, the reality is I've, I've seen so many times where people have gone into a, a situation and, and they've never really asked for what they want. They, they may have 
you know, skirted around the, the outside of uh, the issue without directly saying, well, this is my position, this is what I want to achieve and, and this is what I, I want to get to. Um, if you're not clear and, and um, really establish what, what you want, how can the other party know? Um, and there, there's no way you can generally move to what you want. So, you know, ask, ask for what you want. Um, the sixth tip is relation to timing. Now, in any negotiation, um, there, there's going to be times when you can push your position hard. There's other times when you're going to have to take a backward step. There's other times when you're going to have to move sideways. Um, the easiest way I can you know, describe it, it's a, a bit like the words from Kenny Rogers' song. You, you need to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away and, and know when to run. And if you push in a negotiation at the wrong time, um, the, the chances are is that you can blow up the whole negotiation and, um, and destroy any opportunity that you've, um, that you've got to reach a positive outcome. So be aware of the, the situation and, um, and make sure you pick the right time to, to press your case. The next um, tip is to understand that in any negotiation, it, it, it's not personal. Um, it's important that uh, when you're um, uh, negotiating with other parties, sometimes they will um, they will project them, attempt to project their misery onto you. Oh, my profits are down, my revenues down. You need to cut your cut your price for me. You know all those sort of things. It, it's really important to understand that you don't take on the um, negativity from from the other side and make it personal and make it your problem. Remember what you you're doing is you're having a uh, a, a business discussion. Uh, it's not personal, and you're looking to uh, achieve a win-win scenario for both parties. Um, the next point um, is about values. Um, every business has, has core values uh, under which they operate. They're the, the behavioural frameworks that, that outline what is acceptable and what's not acceptable um, for, for you, your team, your suppliers and your customers. Um, it's really important in any negotiation that you keep your values front and centre. And if the other party um, wants to um, establish an agreement that sits outside those values or push you to a scenario that is outside of those values, that you walk away, that you, you stay true to, to what those uh, values are and, and you use that as your moral compass in those, um, those discussions. The next point is about taking time out. Um, negotiations can become challenging. Um, they can become stressful. They can move very fast. Um, there can be lots of information flowing around. There can be lots of other emotions. Um, and so therefore, if you feel uncomfortable, it's, remember it's okay to take a time out, to, to go for a walk, to take five outside, the, outside of the meeting, to get a glass of water, get a coffee, regather your thoughts and, and come back in and, and, um, and resume conversations and discussions. The next tip is about being clear. Um, and I mentioned before about if you, if you don't ask, the answer's always no. This point relates to not assuming that the other party understands what you're saying. Um, you, you need to be clear and articulate with your position. Uh, you need to um, confirm with the other party that they understand what you're saying and what, you, what you're communicating, the facts that you're delivering and the expectations um, from them. Um, don't, don't assume that they get it. Be crystal clear with your position and, and um, ensure that the other party understands. Um, second to last is about commitment. Um, negotiations um, rarely work if one uh, of the parties is, is not committed to reaching an outcome. You, you need to go into any negotiation committed um, and it, you are perfectly within your rights to uh, expect the same from the other party. And one of the things I often do is, um, is stress to the other party uh, that I'm talking to at the outset, saying, look, here, here to get an outcome, we, we want to work um, for the mutual benefit of both of us. Uh, are you in this with me or you know, are, you, are you only here out of, out of courtesy? So um, as I said, be committed and, and expect the same from the other, other party. The final point 
in relation to the negoti effective negotiation tips and techniques is about um, confirming and, and recapping the, the actions and resolution that you reach. Hopefully, if you've had a, a, a good discussion, you, you've reached an agreement, and it's important that you, you restate that, reconfirm your understanding, um, uh, understand every action that every party needs to take so that all parties walk away with complete clarity on what the next steps um, may be. So that's my 12 steps um, for a, an effective negotiation. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you'd like any more information, uh, feel free to contact me uh, or Kristen, my business partner, or any of the other uh, Attitude Advisory team. Um, and we're happy to coach you through any uh, challenging situations or negotiations that, that you may be faced with. So. Uh, thanks very much for, for joining me.